What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about money because everybody in the United States is talking about money right now. We're in this crazy period of time that probably will disappear sooner than later where everybody's talking about the Powerball Lottery. I'm down here in Georgia and everybody's talking about it. Everybody's spending their money on it. Everybody's playing these numbers. Now me personally, I'm not really that big of a lottery kind of guy. Throughout my life, I may have played lottery just a handful of times. Uh, in my early 20s, I might might have played once every three or four months. I think the most money I've ever won in the lottery was like $100 a couple times. You know, just goofing off. You got an extra few dollars, just buy me a ticket, that kind of situation. I don't like to invest in questionable things. And I know that you have to invest in questionable things to become really successful. But throughout my life, I've kind of strayed away from it and stayed on a path that I know what my return is. But this lottery is a little bit different because there's a lot of money involved. And so a lot of people see it as my opportunity to get my life together, to get basically to have a whole totally different life. Well, the kind of money that this lottery is right now in the U.S., you could literally change your whole lifestyle immediately. You could be rolling with celebrities, going to the finest restaurants, traveling, have the nicest homes, cars, all that. We're talking about a billion and a half dollars that's going to go to some lucky fool. Now. I did play lottery. I played it again tonight. The actual numbers are going to be announced later on tonight. It's about nine o'clock. And I don't know if I tell you what, if I win, I'll tell you guys after I come back from vacation. I played five tickets. Actually, my wife went and did it when I was at work today. I played five last week too. And actually we lost <laughs> just, just in case you didn't know, we lost last week. So everybody's got their fingers crossed. Everybody's claiming it. I can hear the conviction of America right now ringing through my ears in every other house. There's somebody saying, when I win, when I win this lottery ticket, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And a lot of people, you know, it's it's a positive thing. I like to dream. I'm a Pisces. So I like to dream about things. And, and every now and then I'll get into that mode where I talk to my wife or talk to my kids about how different my life would be if I did hit the lottery. A few things that I would do immediately if I hit for a billion and a half dollars, I would take my family. We would leave everything here and I would go vacation for a solid year. I'd go to every continent. Well, at least the areas that are known to be safe, I go hang out and, 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 you know, go over to Japan and chill for a couple of weeks, see some nice hotels. Then I come back and I start investing because pretty much if you got that kind of money and you're stupid with it, you're going to end up broke. So you got to find something to invest in to get a return on. And that's probably what I would do. Open a few restaurants, invest in, you know, the stock exchange, hire some financial advisors, stuff like that. I would definitely get a really nice home, a couple of nice cars, take care of my parents and my immediate family, brothers, sisters, close relatives, some friends. Friends, you know, I hook up the Beastly Thoughts crew, you know, make sure Briar and Robbie are straight taken care of. Make sure that Inner Black Ninja is good, who used to be 9 to 5 Gamers. Be sure to look out for him. He'll be on the show Sunday. 9 to 5 Gamers is back. His new name is Inner Black Ninja. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, money changes your, your life, especially if, if it comes out of nowhere where you're working day to day, you're doing your nine to five, you're living paycheck to paycheck, and which a lot of people are. You know, I commend people out there working to take care of themselves. I'm one of them. I'm one of you, so I know what it's like. But yeah, the lottery is kind of a big deal right now. Everybody's talking about it. And so I, I wanted to post a question to you guys today, and I want to get you guys' idea on what you would do if you hit the lottery for a billion and a half dollars. Now, like I said, I get a nice home. I make sure that my family's taken care of. I do a little bit of traveling. I would it'd do some investing and things like that. I'd probably invest in maybe Activision. You know, some of these big companies are making tons of money. Google, you know, something like that. I'd put some money... I'd put my money where my mouth is and make my money make money back for me. Pretty much that's what I'd do. So I want to ask you guys a video game focused question because this is, after all, a video game focused YouTube channel. If you guys won the Powerball lottery, let's just say tonight, and you won $1.5 billion, which it might even be more now. And after taxes, if you took a lump sum, you might be getting about $850 million. $850 million cash. That's what you got. If you won that money and you had the opportunity to invest in a developer to either bring a developer back to work on a project or you could either remaster an old game to make it new or bring an old franchise back that maybe died out years ago, who would you pick? Which company would you pick and what game would you like to see? Now, the game that I would like to see, and I've said this a few times before, but really means a lot to me and it would mean a lot to me as a gamer is a remake or a remastered Mario 64. 
that probably wouldn't cost me too much money, but if I could somehow uh, partner up with Nintendo to help make that happen, it would be pretty awesome. That game is an incredible game. It's still a 10. It still holds up to this day. And I know it's probably an easy pick because there's so many other games out there, but let's just be honest. Mario 64 was the pioneer of the third-person adventure-style game. It came out, God, I want to say 20 years ago, and it was the first of its kind. One of the first open-world, analog-controlled games. It had an awesome character. story was light, but it's a Mario game. I would love to see Mario redone in modern technology, modern graphics. You guys let me know in the comment section. If you hit for $1.5 billion and you got the information and the confirmation that, hey, it was all you... You can do whatever you want to do with it. Dream with me for a little bit. I know some people don't like to dream. Let me know in the comments what would you like to see come back if you had that kind of money. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for my channel. And I'd like to thank you all for all the support as well. Definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.